In this video, I'm going to be giving you the top five things that I love about the Smart for Two. I have been a massive fan of these cars since their launch in the late 1990s. And you only have to think about what else was available on the market at the time, such as the flimsy Citroen Saxo, the dull Ford Fiesta, or the woefully outdated Metro, to realize just how special the Smart was back then. The concept of the Smart was new and fresh, and these colorful cars were a breath of fresh air in a sea of silver approaching the millennium. If you already follow my channel, you'll already know just how much I love these cars. But don't worry, I'm not obsessed. I'm not gonna be getting a tattoo of one anywhere on my body anytime soon. And to be honest, I'm not really a tattoo kind of person anyway. So in no particular order, here are five things that I love about the Smart for Two. Number one is the Tridian. Now the Tridian, and I don't even know if that was a word before these cars were invented, is the safety cell that goes right the way around you. It is immensely strong. And a lot of people say, oh, it must be dangerous driving a Smart. They must be so bad in a crash. And I think, no, they're really not. They're, they're really strong. In fact, there is an advert where an SUV is placed on top of uh, a Smart, on top of, the, on top of the Tridian. I don't know what the SUV was. Uh, I'll try and find it and put it up on the screen. Uh, probably some sort of Silverado or something big. But anyway, it was placed on top of the actual Smart Tridian and it didn't compress in any way, shape or form. The Tridian has uh, crash boxes at the front and the rear, which can be replaced following an accident. So they're little sections that kind of deform and prevent damage to the main actual Tridian. It's ingenious, an amazing thing, and it makes you feel safe when you drive one. So that's number one. Number two is the packaging. And by that, I don't mean it came in a box, but just the way these things are put together, the whole concept of the Smart. The fact that you've got the engine at the back, very low down, designed to go under the car in an accident so it doesn't come through and impale the driver or passenger. Sandwich construction, so it's kind of almost built in layers. You've got the serv brake servo and various brake components like the um, ABS control unit. That actually lives under the floor, above the plastic under tray, but below the floor pan. So there's so much packed into a small space. Right up front, you've got various ancillaries, radiator, you've got all the fluids. Um, I mean, these things just got so much technology uh, and, and it's so neatly put together. I'm astonished at the packaging of these and the way they're put together. Uh, it continue, continues to amaze me to this day whenever I'm working on them and I take things apart. I'm always finding new, new little things. I think, wow, they put that there. Who thought that would be there? They really are so well designed. Number three is the style. And again, we go back to the Tridian, but the fact that you've got the Tridian, which was usually in silver or black, and then you've got the body panels, which contrast against it. It's just so striking. There's nothing else like that. The silhouette, I mean, it's instantly recognizable, whether it's the 450 or the 451 that were very similar. Um, the, the, the silhouette is unique and unmistakable. Owning one of these cars makes a statement. Coming in at number four, I'm gonna say fun because they are fun to drive. Wherever you go, people ask you, is it electric? What is it? What powers it? People look at them. People like them. Some people hate them, but that's in another video. Driving these cars puts a grin on your face. The three cylinder engine makes a really quite unique thrum. And the fact that it's behind you, it's just rather than ahead, it's just something different. And finally, fellowship and community. In my experience, most people that own smart cars are quite nice people. Now, there will be exceptions, and I have met a couple, but mostly nice. I can't say the same for other brands, and some brands in particular, which I won't name, really can attract dickheads. There are lots of meetings that people attend, and I must make more of an effort to attend some of them. Now, depending on where people live, smart drivers often really struggle to find someone who will work on their car. So as a consequence, a lot of people work on their own car and they do their own research. So there's a great online community and people certainly share intelligence on things that have gone wrong with their cars and also things that have solved problems they've had. So that's it. That's my top five. Coming soon in a video, there's going to be a top five of things that I hate. Yes, it is possible. I can use that strong word hate about certain things on the smart. That will be coming soon. Meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you again in another video.
very soon.